Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic day. I want to first off say that I apologize if my nose may be a little bit, or I sound a little bit stuffy. Um, I don't really have a cold, it's just a little bit of the allergies and, <clears throat> I mean, it's the, the moles are pretty high right now in this area, so I apologize about that. It's more of an allergy symptom. And also I want to say that <clears throat> that this that I will be uploading less videos, maybe. And I'm not saying I'm, you know, uh, gonna be uploading like once a week, just maybe once or twice. Um, I will be, you know, missing my daily upload or sometimes not even, you know, go on for four days or five days. That is uh, not because, you know, I choose not to, it's because of school. And I know you won't really mind because, I mean, I my I've been pretty, you know, pretty uh, on top of my uploading in the past couple of months it's just that <clears throat> you know I may miss an upload here and there and that's just how it will be because now school started it so um, you know I apologize but I guess there's nothing really to apologize about but uh, let's get into this video before we do however I want to quickly uh, say consider subscribing consider liking the video again uh, I appreciate all of your guys support consider liking the video consider dropping a comment that is uh, nice or constructive criticism I can't say it. You know what I mean. Uh, thank you. So, right now we're looking at <coughs> the Enzo. And yes, this is an Enzo discussion. So, uh, this will be a video about this. And you can see that Enzo neutral conditions are present right now. So, um, <coughs> last time I made a video, it was still the El Nino conditions were still present. So, um, yes, if you aren't updated about this, El Nino is no more. Uh, no more El Nino is in the, the, the El Nino conditions are gone. It is, as you can see right here, updated. I think this is updated August 12th. Yes, it was. So, um, not, you know, two days ago as I'm recording this. And you can see that Enzo neutral conditions are present. <clears throat> and that is, uh, I'll explain what that means in just a minute. But basically, I want you to also know that it's most likely to continue through at least fall. At least fall. Winter, we'll see. Um, there could be a more of a La Nina pattern or an El Nino. It really depends. That's why if you live in a northwestern part of the United States, I am a little bit more skeptical about <clears throat> about your winter. It's kind. Of, I answered someone's comment and I said it was kind of like a coin toss because it, it is. Um, if a La Nina, more of a La Nina pattern takes hold, then Northwest, sorry about that, then Northwest will be uh, chillier. <clears throat> the cold air will be more prominent and you will be seeing more snow. However, if the neutral conditions are more present, then you're more likely to see um, more warmth and less snow. So that's just a quick little um, thing I wanted to point out. So this, if you wanted to go to this, just type in Enzo Outlook. I also apologize if I've been saying E-N-C-O. I've, I've always said that when I was a little kid, <clears throat> and I said that on all my videos when I was two years ago until I literally realized it's an S, and I always get my C's and S mis mixed up for some reason, uh, that's just the way I am, so Enzo, that's how you say it, and this uh, website, you just type in Enzo Outlook, you'll find this, it's probably the first search result, and I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing, there's so many things here, honestly, I'm gonna admit there's some things on here that I don't even know uh, what they exactly are for, <clears throat> but mainly the most important things I do know, but I, you know, I think there's like 30 or 40 slides on here, so I'm not gonna be going over all of them because that's just way too many slides, but I will point out the most important features, <clears throat> so here is the Nino regions, uh, this basically Basically, it's not too important when um, when talking about a neutral or, or a La Nina or an El Nino. Maybe, um, mainly, I meant to say uh, this is used when we are looking at a possible El Nino Modokai or Modokai. And that is when it's warmer across the Nino 3.4 and parts of the Nino 4 region, but then it's cooler on both sides. And that is kind of a modification of a regular El Nino. That's if you remember what we were looking at last year. Last year's pattern was very similar to um, a El Nino Madokai, or at least that's what it seemed it was gonna be, but then it just turned into an El Nino. So uh, that's what that's used for. Here's just um, the sea surface temperatures, departures in the Pacific during the last four weeks. <clears throat> but it's basically, um, showing uh, how the water temperatures have changed <clears throat> across much of the country and you can see here's the whole ocean the, all of the oceans uh, uh may not seem like this is the whole map of the world but it is here you can see that it start ends in europe right here and it's picks right back up and that it goes through eurasia asia east asia and then or west asia and then it goes into uh, the Pacific Ocean. So, uh, you know, this, I, I don't really want to focus on this because it, it, it doesn't really affect what I'm trying to 
to tell you guys in this video. Uh, but again, you can see there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, advanced meteorological um, data here, and yeah, you can see 32 slides. So I was close. But uh, here's what I want to show. So historical El Nino and La Nina episodes or neutral episodes um, based on uh, <clears throat> based on the ONI, which uh, basically is a three month period of either being an El Nino or a La Nina, and an El Nino counts as a, a abnormal warming in the ocean of <clears throat> of South America. So right here, if it's a 0 0.5 and above, that it's an El Nino one needs to be for at least three periods in order to in order to <clears throat> in order to count as an El Nino. <clears throat> and uh, El Nino is the exact opposite. It needs to be a zero negative 0 0.5 or, or cooler uh, in order for it to be La Nina for again three months, which is the ONI period. And right now, it may look like if it's in La Nina because you see those blue colors, but it is a little bit warmer out here and um, across the further uh, <coughs> western Pacific Ocean. But, uh, you know, it's still a neutral pattern. <clears throat> it's, um, you know, I say still because so many people looking at this w would think it's a La Nina. And that's what I'm saying. I think a possible a possibility of La Nina has gone up ever since uh, the a couple of weeks ago, even like a month. But um, I still think for fall, it would most likely be a neutral. Winter, it's a slight chance it could be a La Nina. It's definitely higher than what it used to be. But I still do think that it's going to be a neutral um, for fall and winter. But what does that mean even? You know, what does a neutral pattern mean? <clears throat> and that is basically, again, where it's between that negative 0 0.5 and plus 0 0.5. So it's not an El Nino or a La Nina. It's one of these, basically, you could see. Either slightly negative, slightly positive, but again, between those two points. And if we were to look at some memorable years in terms of great snowy falls or winters <clears throat> that a lot of cold a lot of cold shots a lot of snow systems and abnormally chilly uh, conditions we we noticed 2013 2014 <clears throat> you could see that uh, october november december all of these were neutral and let me tell you this was one of the worst winters that has hit the uh, north american <clears throat> north american continent in a while this was a historical winter for many it was very warm for certain locations in the south and west. However, it was very cold and chilly up for, towards the north and northeast. I mean, everyone basically north of, I would say, Missouri, Kansas, kind of like the Mason-Dixie line, got a very chilly. Even the south. Even the south, though, I you know, I just kind of was saying that anyone north. But many locations in the south as well, now that I remember, were seeing snowstorms way down by New Orleans. Uh, so... You know, it wasn't a lot, but it was three to four inches, which for those areas is relatively a lot. And, you know, that's why I think this uh, fall and winter could be a fairly snowy one. <clears throat> if we look at, you know, that's just one year I wanted to point out. But if we look at uh, the Enzo neutral winter pattern, uh, you could see that um, this is what a typical one looks like. We have a polar jet stream. And again, this is where I want to draw out the difference. So we have a polar jet stream that goes right along. Um, depends. I mean, it obviously has a deviance of probably several hundred miles here or there, but um, you can see how it div di dives more into the eastern United States <clears throat> rather than being flat or uh, something more, you know, horizontal. But during a La Nina, this is why the Northwest is the most impacted by this La Nina versus neutral, <clears throat> in my opinion, is because within La Nina, we get more of a pattern that's more uh that's <clears throat> more kind of flattened out and the cold not necessarily goes uh sorry but that was kind of bad not necessarily goes as far south as the neutral <clears throat> i think it usually stays a little bit further to the north but affects more of the northwest and um western parts of canada and uh more of alaska <clears throat> and more of the cold air is stored in these locations so again when we if we were to have a la nina this would affect much more of the northwest <clears throat> with cold and snow possibly in yes cities like Seattle Portland Salem Oregon all those <clears throat> all those uh, locations could be seeing more snow than with their neutral so but as of now yes we are looking at a neutral for at least fall and you could see wet and warm conditions across this area and this is basically a perfect mix of <clears throat> of uh, ingredients for a big system even you could start off small end up becoming big with all these right ingredients and then tapping into this cold air or just you know take taking its time, taking its sweet old track right up the east coast, and then once the cold air <clears throat> gets into the system, it could produce lots of snow, and sometimes record-breaking amounts. <clears throat> if you remember, actually, 2013, I think one of the systems here was Winter Storm Nemo, and Winter Storm Nemo was what the Weather Channel called it. It was a historic system, I think one of the strongest uh, storms that hit it uh, in the past decade.
So you can see that the potential for big storms is definitely there with a neutral pattern. <clears throat> so if you live in the northeast, you definitely more would want a neutral pattern. If you live in uh, the northwest, <clears throat> you'd more want a La Nina for cold and snow. Uh, assuming you'd want that and many people don't but some people do and you can see how uh, this is just showing a linear La Nina <clears throat> and you can see that there are some differences so uh, let's go to the uh, PowerPoint presentation and I want to show you again just like the probabilistic chances the Enzo forecast of a neutral pattern you could see almost at 70% right now <clears throat> for August September October basically saying the same but then obviously naturally going down because uh, the confidence is going on. I mean, this is January, February, March. <clears throat> so it's got to be around 50% because it's further out. I mean, that's like six, five, six months out. So uh, not that far, but in terms of meteorology, that's very far, given that sometimes a five-day forecast is hard, which some of you point out. But that's the whole point of meteorology. It's more of, it's literally more of an educated guess rather than <clears throat> of knowing what will happen. Um, that's why I, that's how I like to view at it. May, some people may not agree with me here, but that's how I like to view at it, like to look at it. And uh, this is basically showing us the models. I don't think this was updated recently. Yeah, this is still the old 19th of July, so you've seen this before. And the models are mainly still showing a neutral. The updated one probably will come in a couple of days, but I'm, I'm assuming it'll just be a little bit further uh, shift to the um, a little further to the south or down, uh, maybe indicating some models for a La Nina. Again, the chance, in my opinion, has risen. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, you can see that most of the models right there, this is actually an updated one, are showing a neutral pattern, maybe possibly a La Nina even. So uh, that's something we'll have to look at. So thank you guys so much for watching. Consider liking this video. Consider subscribing to this channel. And I'll catch you all guys on the next episode. See ya. Bye.